Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing <clears throat> a random collective reading. Man, my throat is like, I don't know, it's got something stuck in it now. I feel like maybe somebody wants to reach out to you. Um, I'm doing a random collective reading for you guys. This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what resonates, collective, leave the rest, you know. And thank you, everyone. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, love. Um, you guys are just really good to me out here. Thank you so, so much for everything. Um, so this, this little deck I use more like an oracle. It's more going to be like an intuitive read, okay? Um, reward, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Um, yeah, Disillusion. The chariot, you're moving on. I feel like you're moving forward. I feel like you're having a new beginning. You're, you know what? You're being blessed with a new beginning. You're being blessed with the fact that your eyes are wide open now. That's what, that's part of that big blessing. You have to be able to see that this is like, it almost looks like kind of a barren wasteland here. There's a, I don't know if this is an eagle or a vulture flying overhead, you know. Um, you could have been waiting for somebody to come in, and they're just not moving, I feel. Look at how they're slumped over. Um, there's like blood on that sword. That's from them stabbing you in the back. I feel like maybe this, whoever you're dealing with could be um, getting their karma. Just everything is drying up for this person. But I feel like you've gotten clarity in this situation, and you're taking the reins of your own life here. You're, bo you're in both... Um, feminine and masculine energy moving forward. You just keep it pushing. Just keep it pushing, collective. Um, you could be a Cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I feel like um, you're just done waiting in this barren wasteland for like, look at all of the relationships that you have been in in the past that have backstabbed you, people that have betrayed you, you know. Um, but I feel like there's, there's redemption in this, there's justice, because with every sword in the ground, there's also a shadow of the cross, okay? So I feel like, um, I feel like you're, you're letting old things just die out. You're letting go, you're taking control of your own life, you're reaching for a new beginning here. Um, there may be people around you that want to hold you back, but I feel like this is a divine blessing for you, a reward for all that you've been through here. My gosh, now you're coming out, having a victory, moving on, mixing up a new soulmate connection for yourself. Temperance angel energy. One foot in the water, one foot on land. I feel like you have this balance going on and everything is about to change for you now you took the reins of your own life and you're moving forward at full steam ahead um yeah you're done with uh waiting for people you're done with betrayals you're done with getting hurt i mean you've learned a lesson right i'm seeing that cr shadowed cross you've learned a lesson from each and every time you were betrayed but you're leaving that behind now you're leaving it all behind. And if there, if you were waiting for this person to come towards you, you're not waiting anymore. Um, yeah, you're not. I feel like there is a person here who's kind of taken a big fall, a tumble in their life. They're losing kind of everything here. Um, because you're leaving the scene. I feel like as with the temperance angel... Um, you could be an earth angel energy. I feel like you, uh, being in this person's energy, you kind of kept them protected in a way. But now that you're leaving and you're pulling away and you're detaching from this connection, they're out here losing a lot. They're losing. Because they may feel stuck and tired they do want you back, I'll tell you that much. They do want you back, and they see your success as well. Um, but there's been so much cruelty put upon you 
by so many people. The, all of these swords, these are the ones you're leaving behind, stuck in the ground. Okay? The ninth sword is clarity. You got eight swords here, nine swords here, right? You're leaving all these people who are cruel and mean and harsh to you out in the cold, man. You're done. You're, you're done with it. And that ninth sword is your clarity. That's what's setting you free. You're seeing everything from a whole new perspective. And you're realizing that the people around you that were in your life weren't there to support you. They were there to, I, you, you know, they were just cruel. You could have gone through some um, public humiliation. There could have been a group of people, a whole, look, this is a whole community trying to keep you stuck, trying to bring you down, surrounding you. It took all these people to try to bring you down. But you, you know what? No, you're moving on, having a victory leaving these people behind and you're being successful you're successful at it yeah i feel like these people are about to be haunted isn't this a creepy looking card <laughs> i gotta say it creeps me out every time i see it yeah they're being haunted they're, they're spirit guides and they everybody has seen what they've done to this earth angel you were the blessing now now there's somebody here who want they want to reach out to you but I feel like um, they're being haunted here by spirit. They could have some kind of attachment that they're around. They're totally on their knees. They're, they're losing big here. And I feel like it's everybody, anybody who attacked you like this, anybody that went up against you like this, I really feel like it's a whole community who tried to bring you down and they couldn't. They couldn't. You're actually more successful out here without these people. Yeah, see, it was oppression. A lot of different people. Each one of these wands, I feel, was somebody who tried to bring you down. Each one of these people. Okay? And I feel like this masculine, there's a masculine out here who just stood here and watched. They, it's almost like they were supervising your downfall. You know, but I feel like your spiritual team and the divine was with you the whole time. You are blessed. Look at how this person is putting their hands on your head. I feel like you received messages. You're held in high regard here. And I feel like the lessons you learned from all of this, this community, you, it took a community to try to bring you down and you're still out here having a victory. Okay, you are still out here having a victory because you've been spiritually led. Because the divine has seen all that you've been through. Because you're an earth angel and you're held in high regard. Because you've been putting the work in. Okay. Collaborating with the divine here on this. Carrying that spiritual cup of love there. Okay, this is your spirituality your faith, the messages you get from the divine, your intuition, everything you feel at a deep soul level is in this cup. And you, I feel like you're holding the blessing. You are the blessing in love here. You're the blessing. You're very spiritual. You do what you're told. You follow instructions. You listen to the divine. And it's bringing you to your happiness. And new love is coming in as well. Ace of Cups. You were the blessing here this whole time. And these people over here who have done you so wrong, I mean, cruelty is the name of this card. Um, and I feel like they're all going down. Anybody who went up against this earth angel is going to be going down. Yeah, there's a masculine energy now who's out there that can't stop dreaming about you. You know, um, they may have had other other uh, options in love here but you're their only dream that somebody wants to reach out okay someone wants to reach out yeah but I, and it's the king of cups but you know they they dream about talking to you they dream about how life would be with you but yet they keep their back turned 
you're this person's wish. I feel like they have other options though, but you're the one that they're the you're the one that they're wishing for. I feel like they want you to talk to them, but they're going to have to reach out to you. Okay? Yeah, this person, they've been harsh, they've been cold with their communication, they've been toxic. Look at that face. Red eyes. Yeah. They're they're just toxic with you. I feel like they're, you know, their words are so cutting, man. They're harsh. And now because of that, they're they're suffering a loss because, you know, like I said, you were this person's wish fulfillment. They could have been happy with you. Now they're sad. All these cups have been dumped out. All of those other options that they once had, all gone. All gone. And all they can do is sit here and cry and yearn for you, knowing they would have been happy with you. And you're Audi because of all because of the cruelty put upon you by this community. I feel it could have been a large friend group, family. Um, I just feel like it was a whole group of people talking about you, sending you bad energy, wanting to ruin your success. But I feel like you had protection, though, the whole time. Yeah, this person over here, they may have some uh, childhood trauma to heal from. It could be abandonment issues. It could be mother issues. Um, I, they feel maybe intimidated. Um, I feel like they need to take some time and heal. Whether it's childhood trauma or not, they, they need to put in the effort here. Um, yeah, this is coming to an end. This is over. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving on. Um, you're not going to be you're not going to be dealing with the cruelty anymore afflicted on you by all of these people. There's multiple people here that were just horrible. And you know what? This masculine watched it all happen. Look at this. They watched you fry. This person threw you to the wolves, collective. You know? They dogged you out, threw you to the wolves, and let people say what they wanted to, let people trash your reputation, let them send you bad energy, let them fight with you and attack you and corner you for some of you. And this masculine just watched and let it happen. They are about to get their karma. Look, look at all these, look at all these melons laying on the ground. And one of them's wearing a crown. Because you know what? Karma doesn't care what, here's that crown. Yeah, including this person. This person's going down. I'm telling you. The divine has seen everything with this all-seeing eye right here. And they're bringing these people down to their knees. To their knees. They're being shown who, who really was the spiritual one. They're being shown here that you were the blessing. They, they're all being shown you were an earth angel this whole time. And they all attacked you. Some of them you didn't even know. Some of them you did, some of you didn't. But I feel like it was a whole community that was against you. Yep, the world card in reverse. They wanted to keep you from moving forward. They wanted to keep you from, uh, they, they, maybe they just didn't believe in you, but they wanted to keep you stuck, collective. They wanted to keep you stuck, and they did all that they could. Some of them even sent some bad en entities to you. Look at this. This I can see is spell work. Definitely. <laughs> Take a good look. This is what these people sent you to try to get you stuck okay but i feel like you've broken free from that you've broken free from it and now the once you know what they're all going to be in ruin they're all going to be in ruin look at this 
especially this masculine who did nothing to protect this earth angel. Nothing. They just watched it happen. They're losing their crown. They're being stripped of their power. They're being stripped of their title. Um, they're being, you know, they're getting the same swords stuck in them that these people wanted to give to you. And you're free, collective, you're free to show other people and try to get other people on your path, on their path. Okay, you're doing, I feel like you're a light worker here. You were their salvation and they, you know what, they dumped all over you. I get so angry at readings like this, you guys, honestly, because you know what, all you ever gave these people was love. You were innocent, pure in this. You did nothing to deserve the kind of treatment you got from all of these people. And this masculine, you know what? They should have done something to defend this earth angel. And for that, they get their karma. They get their karmic justice. It's right here. They're going to be in ruin. In ruin. And I feel like the other people, um, they're going to be paying their karmic debt as well in a lot of regret yep all of because of all of their alliances see these are all the the alliances right here all of these people yep that's what i'm getting here yeah they're all toxic they're going down they're going down with the devil um, and you are moving forward into a victory and wish fulfillment um, because of the love you've shown and, um, and because of the faith you've had. Yep. Yeah, they're stuck. They're in a mental prison or a um, spiritual prison. Sorry. Spiritual prison. They're in a spiritual prison, angry, envious, jealous, just wanting to keep you down and bring you down and keep you there, right? Being all cruel. This is what they get for the cruelty put upon you, the Empress, full of grace. You're about to celebrate your life, and these people are about to go down with the devil. I'm telling you, judgment is on the bottom of the deck. you got to be kidding me, right? Judgment. Judgment. Everybody has, look, the divine sees all, okay? You can't hide anything from God. They have seen how you've been treated. Look at this. Look at how you've been treated. This is horrible how you've been treated. Like an option. Treated like an option. Then I feel like this masculine allowed people to just attack you just attack you over and over and over again. Like I said, it, it took a whole community to try to bring you down, and you're still out here having a victory. Boom. You're still out here having a victory. These people are, man, they're going to be stuck in spiritual prison while you celebrate your life. Yep, that's how this is going to go down. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this quick reading. Well, let me get a couple um, pieces of advice for you here as you move forward. Hold on. my One of my cards was upside down. Um, what advice do you have for the collective today? Advice for the collective. Be flexible with yourself. You've been through... Um, you've been through so much. The divine has seen how much you've been through. And I feel like you just kind of... You just kind of went through it. You didn't try to avoid anything. You didn't try to skip over anything. You had to work your way through that. I feel like you get to be flexible with yourself now. You know, it is the end to a cycle too. So some of you could need some rest. Yeah, I feel like it's time for you to choose a new path here. Um, but your, your, these scales are about to be balanced out for you. Yep. The universe is balancing everything out. Look at this is balance. This is balance. Yes, yes. And this is an 11 here too with the to be fair. That's a divine number. 
some of you are just leaving the scene because like I said this was a whole community against you against you for what reason nobody knows exactly yeah yeah they don't have a reason because you never gave them a reason they just were against you and this this masculine watched yeah, it's it's pathetic. I'm telling you, I get I'm sorry. I'm getting triggered, but I get really angry when I see people being treated this way. But yeah, I feel like the divine is taking you in a new direction here to get away from all of these miserable people. <laughs> For real, they don't want you around these cruel people anymore. They they can't. It's almost like they've had plenty of time to learn, but they didn't learn a thing. A lot of these people still don't even know you, but they hate you. They send you bad energy. They don't know you. Some of these people you gave nothing but love to, and they still tried to betray you and bring you down and attack you. The divine wants you out of there for whoever this is for. I feel like you're about to make a house move, a location change. It's going to take you in a whole new direction. Yep. Uh, get ready, yeah. It's going to give you a whole new life. A whole new life. And I feel like uh, the divine has put you on a pedestal here. You may need to take some time to rest, okay? Because you've been put through it. It's been a long, horrible cycle. At the hands of other people. And I feel like um, just keep moving forward. Don't worry about the karma that they're getting or the type of karma that they're getting. Just keep moving forward, okay? Listen to the messages you're getting. If, you're, um, if the divine is trying to, to, to lead you to a different location, like you're going to know. You're going to know what's calling to you, right? Um, go with it if you can. You know, the divine has led you through it to this point, right? They want to take you away from this nasty, miserable group of people so they can finish getting their karma, okay, without you being involved in that. Whew, anyway, collective, I got to clear out this energy. This one triggered me. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you, if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.